introducing you to the newest wallet in the Web3 space, Zerion. And it seems to be a very promising Web3 wallet that has some cool features and I can't wait to get into. Zerion has managed to secure a whopping $33 million in funding and is rumored to be releasing an airdrop. So welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. And in this video, I will show you how to use the Zerion wallet and obviously qualify for an airdrop. A minimum of $20 will be required, but I recommend around $50 to $100 to increase your odds of the airdrop. Now, remember nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Oh and guys, as we promised, Jules is doing an unreal 10 day giveaway where there is $7,500 worth of prizes up for grabs. Here are all the prizes to win. Check out the video to learn how to participate and let's carry on with the airdrop, ladies and gentlemen. Okay guys, so we are officially on the Zerion website, which is zerion.io. And basically we have two different options before we begin. Now you can either use your MetaMask wallet, which you should already have set up, or a similar wallet like Trust Wallet. Or the second option is to create a Zerion wallet. Now, I know this sounds confusing, However, you can connect your MetaMask wallet or any similar wallet to the Zerion application. However, you can also create a Zerion wallet like so. However, it's not like your average wallet like MetaMask or Kepler where it's installed into Chrome. Instead, you actually have to download it onto your desktop. Therefore, I would go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store if I'm downloading it on a computer. Now, I'm not going to be doing it in this video, but just to show you how, you would open up the App Store, click Get, Install, and then Carry On. However, in this video, I'm going to be using my MetaMask wallet to connect through the Zerion app. However, if you do want to complete as many tasks as possible, then it is required to download the Zerion desktop app on your mobile or phone. And you can see this on the Zeely Quests, where it says mint a Zerion DNA and get one of the corresponding roles. As you can see, mission download Zerion wallet and mint your DNA is free. To create your Zerion DNA, head to the App Store or Google Play Store to download the Zerion app and get started. So as you can see, you will need to get the Zerion wallet if you wish to complete all of the tasks. Now, this won't completely stop us from qualifying for the airdrop and I will show you what I mean. So carrying on, we're going to go back to the Zerion website and what we're going to do is we're going to click where it says Zerion on web. So as you can see, it gives us the option to connect to our wallet. And like I said, we can use MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Trust, Coinbase, Phantom and all the other ones that would be available. So in our case, it is going to be MetaMask, as I said, and I'm going to be connecting my main account. It's up to you which account you choose if you want to use a burner or not. It's completely up to you. So we're connecting and essentially this is like your dbank cross with metamask application where you can see your entire portfolio you can explore different applications you can send receive swap and even bridge over tokens and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video now i want to show you something before we get started as you can see zerion has their very own guild which is requiring us to complete some tasks now as you can see here it says this claim ends in four days so we need to join the guild to get roles and then we need to complete some of these tasks so we click join guild to get roles we're going to connect our wallet choose metamask they know we're on discord already because we've used guild if you're not on guild then it will ask to connect your discord and then we click check access to join so we've officially joined we're going to go to the server because we need to do that first click get invite accept so as you can see we have to go to the onboarding and then we have to do the capture it said teenage mutant ninja turtles there but it was almost that capture passed Welcome to Zerion. Cool. And now either what we need to do is pay $3 USDC on Polygon, pay $3 DAI on Polygon, or pay 0.002 ETH on Ethereum. So what we have to do is obviously complete one of the following. So we've got the member role, and now we need to finish off this. So we go back over to Zerion, as we can see, I'm gonna get rid of the unnecessary pages so we don't see that. And as you can see, we can see our overview of the wallet. We've got 66 Matic. We've got 38 XRLTV, which was, from, which was from another airdrop video. And the next thing to do is now interact. So as you can see, I've got $52 worth of Matic. So what we want to do first is we're going to be using the swap feature. So obviously we're going to be getting some USDC as that is the task on the guild. As you can see, we've got 30 Matic that we're swapping into USDC. We can also get a Zerion premium DNA, which was offered at the beginning of the video. All you'd have to do is buy an, a DNA card and that will qualify you for the Zeely tasks. Now, if we go and buy on OpenSea just to show you, it's got a floor price of 0.0012, which is pretty cheap. So if you wanted to get one, you can. You can filter it from low to highest price. It's completely up to you. I'm not going to be getting one of these NFTs. However, but it's cool to know that they've got this collection. So carrying on without getting the NFT, we're going to swap our Matic into USDC. So we click swap, confirm the transaction, 
and then transaction is pending and wait for it to complete and that has been executed so now we have usdc in our wallet as well as matic being swapped over after that once you have completed the swap we're going to go over to the explore button on the left hand side and as you can see we can explore nfts top gainers top losers liquidity pools DeFi indexes blue chips and all of this so let's just say for example we choose DeFi pulse we can pay using the ethereum network polygon network or the gnosis chain so we just click polygon for example and we're going to swap matic into dpi which is the DeFi pulse token so let's just swap 12 matic say we're going to swap it confirm it in the wallet just like usual or sent gas fee click done and that has been confirmed now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to swap and what we want to do is guys we just want to facilitate as many transactions as possible with as much volume as possible this is pretty similar to the metamask airdrop not exactly the same however i want you to try and focus on these same sort of things swapping bridging sending and exploring the applications which it has to offer so i'm now going to swap my tokens back into matic so if we go to DeFi pulse click max we're going to approve dpi and we can revoke this smart contract after in our revoke.cash or on the polygon scan it's completely up to you revoking it just increases our security so obviously once we approve smart contracts then and only then can we swap so swap it just like so bang as we can see we've done the dpi next thing we can do is the usd coin click max we'll approve usdc as well max approve approve superb now we just click swap to finalize it and fantastic we've got our matic back and the next step after we've swapped all our tokens back and we've now facilitated some volume we can go over to where the bridge option is on the left hand side and we're now going to choose a network to bridge to and from so obviously we've got assets on the polygon network so we want to bridge from polygon over to another network let's just say we bridge our matic to the arbitrum network we can choose a token to swap it into so for example we can either use ethereum die wrapped bitcoin tether usd usd wrapped ether and so on so let's just do usd coin so we're going to send over let's just say 69 make sure to leave some for gas fees is very important and as you can see nine cents is going to be paid out in fees it's going to take four minutes to send over as you can see it's around 11 cents in fees and it's going to take around four minutes to send over and this is literally a cross-chain transfer so i don't actually have to swap the matic into usdc and then bridge over the usdc to the arbitrum network instead i can just use my matic straight from matic and send it over to arbitrum into the usdc token or whichever token i like now i'm going to click send and on the other side we're going to see our matic turn into usdc on the arbitrum network which will be great so now we've initiated a transfer from polygon to arbitrum we've done a rough transactional volume of 100 dollars in this video i would recommend trying to get to a thousand or ten thousand try and do this once a week and your odds of getting the airdrop are incredibly high that's just my opinion anyway as you can see the money is now on its way and we just have to wait for it to reach the other side on the arbitrum network as so so we want to get usdc in our wallet list we can do this by going to coin market cap finding the arbitrum wallet address just like so for the usdc coin going up into our metamask and then if we go down import tokens paste the address add custom token and as you can see before it said wait four minutes for the usdc coins to come up and you can check the status on socket scan so if we go over to socket scan so as you can see transfer initiated one minute ago hyphen in progress so now we just wait for it to be completed and then we'll have our assets on the arbitrum network so to conclude guys the best way to qualify for the airdrop is to get a zerion wallet and not use the metamask wallet like i did in this video you want to use the swap feature as much as possible you want to send tokens as well if you want you can also send nfts which is great i would try exploring the applications and tokens that they have within the zerion app honestly guys i think this is a fantastic protocol i think they're they're most likely going to do an airdrop it seems that way anyway well i would assume so anyway trust wallet has a token many other wallets have a token other than zerion on metamask and a few others so i'm expecting to have a big airdrop from these guys like i said try and gather up as much volume as possible try and get as many transactions a week as possible try and download the zerion wallet if you wish if not the metamask wallet should be fine just like i did try and complete these quests on guild and zeely at the moment i think it's glitching out because it says i have no access it's telling me to pay three dollars usdc on polygon but i don't know exactly what that means because i think i've done that but it doesn't seem to say i have done so now this is not to worry i don't it's not the end of the world if i can't complete this task the most important thing is actually facilitating with the application so Zerion wants to see that we're using their app most likely they would love to see if, if we are using their wallet as well however this is good enough for me i'm happy to use the swap bridge and other features on the application and if that qualifies me for the airdrop then great if not 
then we've got many other airdrops to worry about. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And let us know what airdrop you want to do next. I have got a few requests that I promised to do for other people, so I will add it on the list if you wish to give me an airdrop request. Now guys, thanks again for watching, and we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative until next time dgens